Welcome back, Nail Bees. Let's jump into this unboxing because you know that's what I got for y'all. This is from Madam Glam, and I'm trying something new. These are their chrome gel paints. This is the rose, and then I want to say this one is the gold. And then they also have one that looks silver, but it's called Vintage. <laughs> and since we're jumping right into it, I'm just going to get set up and get things going. Also, by Madam Glam, I'm going to be using their Soak Off No White Top Coat and their Soak Off Base Coat. Also, Perfect Black and Perfect White. You can catch it on their website. We are starting with Vintage. And like I said, I love their products. They did come with a little cat piece, those little pieces white pieces that I put right back into the top. I feel like it just stops things from spilling over. Look how pretty that color is. Close up. So I am gonna put it over the black and I feel like it just, it eats. It very much eats over the black. Like, look, look at this. Hold on, just look at this. I do want to point out the more gel chrome you use the more flawless it looks so I like I said I was this is my first time using it I was kind of getting used to the texture um, which is a really good texture compared to like if I was to mix chrome into a gel color or gel clear gel or whatever I just want to say just tiny more product on the brush and you'll be able to cover the whole nail if you looked at how much I had on the brush at first and how it looked when I swatched the color, it would it kind of like um, smeared off at a point and I had to dip back in and get some more. But on the other swatch I do on the gold and the, the rose gold, you're going to see that the more product you use, the more seamlessly it looks as you paint it. rose gold I did decide to go with the white paint as the underneath tone and I really absolutely love it I feel like it pops the rose gold a little bit more and I, overall I think I love this color in this chrome uh it just it, it's really pretty <laughs> and like I stated previously as you see that I have a little bit more product on the brush and it's seamlessly blending into each other as I'm painting the color on there. Um, the more product you use, the brush is able to smoothly glide the color on there without um, drying it out and getting that like splatter look to it. 
I will not sit here and lie to you guys. The rose gold is very pretty to me, but look at this gold. It's like liquid gold, y'all. It is stunning. And I chose a black swatch for this. So I just want to show you guys how like it really looks like liquid gold. Like it's very pretty. So I'm going to let you guys have it. We are coming to an end, so I'm gonna top coat it. And I did wanna show you guys when I top coat it, it left no glittery residue behind. <laughs> like y'all, that is like a very big plus for me because anytime you use chrome and you go to top coat it, the chrome just spreads out all on the top coat brush. So thank you guys for tuning in. Do not forget to like, share with the people you know. And if you're not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow your girl. Don't ever change for anybody Don't ever trade your soul Don't even listen to him He don't know nothing at all Try not to get too involved But really it's breaking my heart How you keep changing for him Never forget who you are